And this is the scene every morning as Daryl and the girls are waiting to be let out of their chicken run. And then we have this little guy who's been sleeping in a tree, Lord knows where. But he's ready to join the group too. I pray that this little man is gonna, uh, well, it's a girl, but I pray that she's gonna stay safe at night. She's not been sleeping in the safety of the run. But so far she's been okay. She rejoins the flock every morning. Now the price of a lot of things is nuts right now, but the price of eggs in particular has been increasing very rapidly lately. A dozen eggs is about $5 at the time of me making this video and 18 eggs is as high as $7. So I think due to that, a lot of people are probably gonna start taking interest in raising backyard chickens before long, if they haven't already. Um, but one of the things that you have to think about when raising these girls is, how am I gonna keep them safe? Now a company called Xpest reached out to me and they offered to give me a couple of products if I would go ahead and kind of unbox them, review them, and showcase them in one of these videos here on the channel. And to me that was pretty exciting so I accepted their offer and they shipped me two different products. So Xpest is a company that makes products that repel small to medium sized animals from your property or trying to keep them away from your animals. So things like raccoons, which we've had a problem with a couple months back with these chickens, uh, foxes, even birds, eagles, things of that nature. And they sent me two different products which are nocturnal animal repellers. So we'll go ahead and unbox those products, we'll take a look at them, and we'll see about if we can maybe help secure our chicken coop and our chicken run even more by putting these things up that will repel those predators potentially at night if they were to come try to visit these girls. products they're both really interesting this one in particular is multi-directional so as you can see it has three faces so wherever we go ahead and spike this into the ground we're gonna want to kind of try to position it so that it has coverage from all different sides and what this does is these sensors can pick up on an animal approaching so whether that's a raccoon or a coyote or a fox and once it picks up that there's an animal nearby it's gonna go ahead and start flashing these bright white LED lights and it emits a sound from this ultrasonic speaker, which is actually kind of cool. Um, these are both solar, so both these things and this product here are both solar powered products. So what I'm gonna do is because it's eight o'clock right now in the morning, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these out in the sun today and see if we can get them juiced up enough so that we can do a little bit of a demonstration and an installation tonight. Um, but this is the ultrasonic uh, solar motion activated animal repellent. That's really cool. And then this one here, I can definitely see myself clipping these to the side of the chicken run. And uh, again, solar powered. Both of these are solar powered. Um, but at nighttime, these eyes glow. And it's kind of neat. It almost makes the encroaching animal think that there's a predator because they're gonna see these glowing red eyes. And so it makes them think twice about getting any closer to the chicken run. So after leaving this guy here out in the sun for a few hours and letting it accumulate a bit of a charge, it's still not dark yet. That'll be in a few hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it and let's see what happens when this thing does in fact activate. So if one of these three motion sensors do pick up on some movement, let's see what'll happen. Well, I think that'll definitely do the job of scaring whatever away that comes close, yeah? So I'm gonna go ahead and install this animal repeller, this ultrasonic animal repeller, uh, right here on the corner. And I wanna make sure, it's multi-directional, so it should be able to face any way. I wanna make sure that it's gonna cover both the front and the side, so that if any predator were to approach from this direction, that it would go ahead and trigger. And then 
for these guys here, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put one on the wall like this. I'm just gonna zip tie them on, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side as well. And here's a look at what those nocturnal animal repellers look like at night. It's supposed to, the pulsating light is supposed to scare away any predators that would approach. I mean, it does look pretty creepy, yeah? Pretty cool, huh? And here's our other one. I'm sure you can't see much. Now these are automatic, so they charge solar during the day and then they'll sense when it gets dark and they go ahead and turn on. And so both sides of my chicken run are now protected by these guys and it should make any predators think twice before approaching. Now let's go check that sonic animal uh, deterrer and we'll see what that sounds like. And this is what this one looks like when it gets set off by the motion sensor. It emits a, uh, a, a little piercing shrieking noise, flashing LEDs, a blue flashing light. Very cool, honestly. Definitely would scare away any kind of a raccoon, I think. So of course, in full disclosure, this was a sponsored segment, and I wanna thank X-Pest for the opportunity to try out some of their products. Every little bit helps, and I definitely do think that it'll help our chickens be that much safer. If you guys liked either of the products that I showed in today's video, you can check the link below the stream. There's gonna be a special discount code to save 20% if you wanna order one of them. It's only good for the first couple weeks after this video comes out. So if you're interested, you may as well check them out. They're not very expensive. Um, I think the ones with the flashing lights are about 20 and the others are about somewhere in the 40 to $50 range. So check them out if you'd like. And until next time, Scarlett says thank you, I say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. And uh, come watch us grow our family homestead out here in Central Florida. Guys, wherever you are in the world, God bless you. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye, everyone.